it is uh, under which you are going to focus on? Well, uh, security. yeah, we are going to focus on three issues. Yes. Uh, one and foremost, unfulfilled, that you can see that virtually 23 countries, the head of the customs are in attendance. And uh, one thing I look at why I had to uh, really lobby it or uh, make it happen in Nigeria, it is because of one, our population and the largest economy. So when we look at the situation we are in now, the insurgency, the Ebola and trade facilitation, I think Nigeria is leading other uh, African countries. So I think it is uh, wise uh, while we come here, we inform them about how important uh, we are to them and how important they are to us. So uh, basically, uh, if you remember, sometimes 2014, we signed an agreement with only four countries, uh, Chad, Cameroon, and Niger, and uh, Benin. But today now, I am bringing the 23 counties. Let us have a common understanding of coordinated border management so that at least we will do away with the risk of insurgency, disease, and at least we improve trade facilitation. That is exactly the basic reason why I have to bring these people here. Yeah, uh, the Honorable Minister talked about uh, uh, using cutting edge technology. How important are you in terms of applying technology? Well, if I'm not mistaken, you have heard from the Secretary General himself. Uh, currently, Nigeria is almost number six in the world in terms of IT. Uh, and uh, by next week, I'll be invited to deliver a keynote address in Bahamas because of the recognition that Nigerian Customs Service and in terms of uh, 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 IT technology. Well, through trade facilitation and insurance, of, and insurance of compliance through the traders, now you can see that the, the director generals of uh, West and Central Africa are here. Uh, the aim is to combat smuggling so that people will try to come, try to come and pass through the approved routes. That means through the border, approved borders. Uh, seaports and airports. So with that, the compliance will be high, our revenue will be go, the revenue will go up. So basically, that is the reason why they are here. We talk to ourselves uh, that whatever is good for Nigeria is the same time good for other countries. So if you allow smuggled goods to enter, uh, really it is going to harm virtually the whole economy of the West and Central Africa region. So it is better to stand up for our responsibility and make sure that uh, whatever we are doing, we look inward, uh, basically to be very patriotic and to make sure that. The central, uh, I mean, the federation account gains uh, than the individuals. So please, uh, uh, let us just go into the basics. Have you identified the number of exit and the, uh, exit routes, exit and community routes in Nigeria? How many really in the group of us do we have? We we have approved routes, but you know, smugglers they create many, many, many routes. So with this, at least they are coming from one country. Our neighbors. Or our neighboring countries are Cameroon, Chad, Niger, Benin. So at least those goods are coming out from the ports of these countries. Well, those ones that are that have ports, but a case of Niger, goods are always transited from Benin to Niger. So if the customs here agreed and we cooperated, anything that's living or coming inside their own country, they will definitely get it and pass it to customs according to normal inter uh, international transit procedure, turned it over to customs of Nigeria, and then we, they, we issue them with a landing certificate indicating that goods are not going to slip out of uh, the, 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 the hand of customs. So like Benin, now Benin goods are coming out from the port. They know the one that is for home consumption in Benin, and they know the one that are coming to Nigeria. So the customs now, we are going to, uh, we're, we're, as we signed the agreement, now we're going to strengthen it that anything that's coming out meant for Nigeria, the customs will escort it to the border officially and hand it over to Nigerian customs. With that, I can tell you we can ensure compliance and we see a lot of revenue is going to be captured. Well, prosecution of offenders, I think uh, in 2014, I vividly remember, we have, we have successfully prosecuted almost 27 to 28 revenue offenders. Uh, and I'm sure some, uh, we still have some in, in, in court. So uh, we, are, we are going on. The law is very clear. The last uh, question. Sir, last sir, question. Sir, given the falling of oil prices in Nigeria and the government attention now focuses on the internally generated revenue, most especially from the Nigerian Customs Service and the Federal Inland Revenue Service, what efforts are you, or what targets, what efforts are you put, put in to so that at least reach the target or even exceed? Well, basically, I have told you, okay. part of the part of the effort is to bring our neighboring countries together to make sure that those goods that are smuggled through the unapproved routes are being uh, arrested from the seaports. 
and then hand it over to Nigerian customs. Would that the revenue come? Uh, we collect the revenue, and now we are going to ensure compliance. Those traders that are complied, don't mind. We have already given an incentive that is past tracking 179 traders who have shown a high level of compliance and built integrity. So we are encouraging those ones who build integrity to reward them that whenever your cargo comes, because of the trust we have in you, you clear your cargo without even passing through uh, the rigorous clearing procedure. And if there is, the, is, we have common understanding with other security agencies who now can go to the premises of the importer to, 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 to examine the cargo, those who have anything to do with it. Thank you so, very much. So basically those are the airports we are going to put, and many more. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.